I recently managed to snag a Corsair K63 for absolutely nothing. But the problem with this keyboard is that it's absolutely filthy. So in this video, we're gonna be cleaning the hell out of it. So the Corsair K63 is a wireless TKL keyboard that's basically fully made out of plastic. It does have metal on the back plate, but it mostly just gives it a bit of structural integrity. But as you can see, this keyboard is absolutely filthy. There's like dust and grime and just so many different things going on. And it's in between all the different switches. So it's gonna be an absolute pain to clean up. It's also missing most of its keycaps. So the first thing I did was actually take off all the keycaps and just throw them out because there's barely any there. And I'm not gonna use these anyway because I do have some spare Corsair keycaps from my Corsair K70. Now I'm sure you've probably already noticed by now my keyboard here has red switches, which are my personal favorite from the lineup. I hate blue switches. So I'm glad this keyboard at least has red switches. It also sadly lights up in fully blue lighting. It's not RGB and it's not white or anything like that, and blue doesn't really fit my setup. So I'm not really gonna use this keyboard for my setup later, but it will be cool to clean this thing up and fix it up. So to make sure that things didn't get messy, I put this keyboard on a plastic lid, so then the dirt on the keyboard wouldn't fall straight onto my carpet, which would ruin the carpet, and it'll be very difficult to clean off. And I brought a few different supplies that I thought might help me throughout this process. So the first thing I brought out was some baby wipes and tissues, and also got some Q-tips and some methylated spirits. Now I tried using some Q-tips and methylated spirits to get in between each of the switches and get rid of the grime that's there. But the problem with that is the methylated spirits wasn't really breaking down the grime really. And what would really be nice here would be some eucalyptus oil, but I sadly didn't have any on hand. I then tried using Q-tips and baby wipes. And while this did get rid of a lot of the grime, it was a very tedious process. And I soon realized probably the best option was to just get out the old air compressor and spray out as much of the dust and all the loose grime that I could. So that's what I did. And after I'd done this, this cleaned it up already heaps. Then I was able to go in with baby wipes and clean it off as best as I could. And during this process, I also ended up pulling apart this keyboard completely to clean out the inside as well and also have better access to the metal back plate. And I noticed on the inside of the keyboard, there was lots of dirt and stuff. So this thing must have been left outside a bit. But surprisingly, this keyboard actually fully works. So after I'd cleaned it up on the inside, I put everything back together and now it's finally time to clean the wrist rest. So I took that to my sink and gave it a good wash and it actually ended up turning out relatively decent. It just does have some slight stains on it, which can't really be seen that well in person, but on camera they do show up. So I'm pretty happy with the final result of this keyboard. It definitely turned out way better than I was expecting, and it honestly looks pretty clean now. to what it was before it's a massive difference and the keycaps that I put on fit perfectly with this keyboard since they are from the Corsair K70 keyboard that I have but this is a nice keyboard and it definitely turned out a lot better than I expected let me know what you think of this keyboard now that's finally cleaned up in the comments below I personally think it turned out pretty nice let's finish this video off with a quick sound test of the keyboard